This little guy here is a HomeSeer HSM 100 multi-sensor. It's a Z-Wave device that has the ability to detect motion, temperature, and light levels. This is a battery-operated device, and it was in production from 2007 until 2014. In 2014, we replaced it with this little guy here, which is much smaller and has some very unique and very special features that I think you're going to find interesting. Stick around for a minute, and I'll show you what I mean. Okay, so first just a, a quick overview of the physical characteristics of each. Both are multi-sensors, both are designed to detect motion, temperature, and light level. The new one though, the HSM200, has got two prongs coming out of the back. So first and foremost, this is a line-powered device. Because it's line powered, obviously you never have to replace batteries, but more importantly, it'll function as a repeater in your network. So when you install it, plug it into a receptacle, uh, it will strengthen your network. The older unit, the 100 model, was battery operated. Battery operated devices cannot function as repeaters. Now the other thing that we did to it, which uh, I think is very cool, is underneath the dome, the motion sensor dome there, we installed a multicolored LED. And with that, you can use your home seer system to actually cause that dome to glow different colors based on things that happen in your house. Now let me plug it in here. And I'm going to show you a little bit of what it can do. Now, um, the first thing I did is I created some home seer events that are going to trigger based on the door sensors that I've got installed here at the bottom. When I open the door on the left here, it's going to change the color of that dome to green. When I open the door on the right, it's going to change the color of that dome to blue. When I open both doors, it's going to change the dome to red. When I close both doors, it's going to turn that dome off. So let's go ahead and give that a try. So I open the door on the left, changes green. Open the door on the right, change is blue. Open both doors, change is red. Blue, green, red. So this provides an instant visual indicator in the house of which doors are open. All right, so that's one use for it. Now another use is I've created another set of events that are going to change this different colors based on the dim level of my home seer dimmer. So as I turn the dimmer on to, let's say, 10%, it glows blue. Then when I raise the dim level, it changes to cyan. When I raise it again, it changes to green, red, magenta, yellow, and finally white. And when I turn the dimmer off, it's going to turn the dome entirely off as well. Now, next series of events have to do with the scene controller here. And the scene controller is going to be tied into the dimmer, so the result is going to be roughly the same. When I press the bottom scene, turns the dimmer on to 10%, changes that blue. 20% cyan. 30% green. 60% magenta and 75% yellow. So again, based on what you want to do in the house and what you want to keep track of, it's very easy to get a visual indicator inside the house of when things happen. I hope you found the video interesting. Uh, in the next video, I'll show you some of the programming that I've done to make this happen. Thanks for watching.